Hey, what's up, Internet? So I just got done making another video about this Bluetooth adapter. Um, if you have an Android device, go ahead and check that out. Uh, but this video will be about this Wi-Fi one that works with iDevices. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I sure could use some help. Yeah, hey, man, I think this guy needs some help. Yeah, I'll give you a hand. Okay, so it looks like uh, in the packaging, you get the device itself in some sort of CD. If you have a computer with a CD-ROM, I think you can put this in there and download stuff onto your computer and or something like that. Uh, be warned, some people are putting out in the reviews that there's a virus on the CD that comes with this thing, so that's not good. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fire up the HD Sony. Where you at? There you are. Look at that. That's fancy. That's some sort of fancy. Oh, it's upside down too. Okay, so there you go. Plugs into your car. It says OBD2. Not bad. It's Wi-Fi. So I'm gonna go ahead and just plug it in the car. See what happens here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car off though. Plug. I have an iPod Touch. I mean, it has the app as well. I purchased it for ten dollars. It's called OBD Fusion. But let's go ahead and just start with the iPad. Let's go ahead and start with the iPad. See what we got here. Uh -huh. So let me go ahead and type in my secret number that you guys, you guys will never know. I don't know where Batman came from. A little less Batman, a little more Bruce Wayne. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my Wi-Fi. And I'm going to try to connect to the Wi-Fi. Okay. Wi-Fi, OBD. So, yeah, here it is. This is Wi-Fi, OBD2. Where is it? You see it? So, I'm going to click that guy. Come here. Let's try to connect it. Ah! Connecting. Uh, it's doing some sort of protocol stuff. And it was typing protocol automatic. Okay. Connection failure. Right. I'm just going to turn the car on. See what that does. Ooh, reading vehicle information. Do you want to edit the settings for the connected vehicle? I'll go ahead and say yeah. What's a, It's a sedan and it's gas. Oh, here we go. Whoa. It looks like it pops up a VIN number, but that's not a VIN number. Uh, let's see here. Volumetric efficiency is 65, and that's in percent. Uh, how holding it in portrait mode is weird. Landscape looks a little... Let's see here. Heated catalyst. Non-continuous. Available complete. I got X's. I don't even know what that means. That's kind of cool. Let's see here. Readiness standard. None. Wow, so far this app looks like it has a lot going on. The main reason you would probably want to purchase this app is because you have a check engine light. I do not have a check engine light, however I'm still going to scan as if I do have one. Okay, so let's see here. Manufacturer defined, TID, dollar sign, 84, values, units. Wow, so this is really cool. Let's go to dashboards. Okay, similar to the Torque app, we have gauges. And I'm gonna go ahead and just go around. Okay, looks like it's working. Stuff is going on. Uh, boost, now see, here's a better looking boost. That is reading nothing. Twin turbo engine, and I'm not reading any sort of boost. Okay. So it is very laggy on reading. It's got a gallons per hour gauge, which is kind of cool. Let me give us some gas, see what happens. Half a gallon an hour, three quarters of a gallon an hour. That's a really weird way to gauge how your engine is going for a car. If it was an airplane, I would say that would make more sense. Maybe if you put wings on your car. Uh, let's go ahead and check out, see if we can get some more oh, menu. Let's see what that does. Let's add a display back. Oh, look at that. Okay. And now uh, display configuration. So these are the options, not nearly as much as the Torque app, it appears. Anyway, there's a lot going on here. 
Let's go ahead and see if we can do diagnostics, right? Diagnostics. Trouble codes. It's right here at the bottom. Yeah, no trouble codes. Malfunction indicator lamp status off. That's so that's your check engine light. That's cool. Distance travel while malfunction indicator lamp is activated. That's pretty cool and it has miles there. I I didn't know that was a normal thing to for the engine to log. I, <clears throat> wow. Okay, so all in all, if you have I think it was like 20 bucks for the adapter and another $10 for this app, appears to me that it's working pretty good and it would be worth the money. Now, if you have an Android device, I mean, just my opinion on this, it feels like the Torque app is better than this app, but uh, I say that because I think it has more functions, like it appears that there's more displays available, like chart-wise, like you can have different kinds of displays. It's not just digital or radial, there's like bar graph displays and all that. But yeah, let's go ahead and try this out on an on, on iPod, an iPod Touch. Okay, let's see here. Let me go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi. Okay, trying protocol automatic. Reading vehicle information. So it's doing... It's doing what it should. This is the first time you have connected to this vehicle. Do you want to edit Mercedes? So let's just say no in this case. Okay, cool. So it says it's connected. Right on. Okay, and uh, everything seems to be really slow. So I'm just going to start the car up, see what happens. So yeah, the engine temp went down according to this. Mass airflow. So also my battery is starting to read. Nice. But yeah. So let's go ahead and do the bread and butter here with the diagnostics. So trouble codes. That is that is your what you're probably gonna buy this thing for. And it I don't have any on my car right now. But it is scanning and it's looking for them. Yeah. So all in all, uh, the Bluetooth one that works with Android and the Torque app, I, I'm i just feeling like it's a better deal than the Wi-Fi one with the iDevices. Uh, it, it just seems to react quicker. Yeah, it's taking a while to read this data. Read the data. Oh my god, once again waiting. Oh, are we recording still on that one? Yes, we are. No, not bad. Okay. Oh, geez. Taking a while. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just assume that that works. Um, everything's slow. Everything's slow. I'm going to go ahead and take that and turn that off. The Wi-Fi. I'm going to pop the iPad back out. And we're going to take this thing for a spin. Let's see how that works. OBG2 is kicked in. I'm going to go ahead and put this piece in drive so that I can access. Whoa, that's really loud. Hmm. Yeah, there's an issue with that. Okay, so that's connecting. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this thing for a spin. All right. Please put your seat backs in treble, treble, treble trays. Table trays in their fully upright lock positions. The skies outside are partly cloudy with a breeze at five miles an hour northwest. If you're planning on going fishing when we arrive at our destination, feel free to use the bait and tackle shop right outside the main gate exit. If you're getting bored at listening to me talk, Perhaps you might want to turn on some music because we still have a little while. And then re, re plug it in. And then I'm just going to press the connect button. Uh, turn on the monitors. Nope, dashboards. I'm going to flip around to equal speed and stuff. So, not bad. Vehicle speed, I would say, is. 
fairly inaccurate because it's not doing anything. But also I was under like five miles an hour. So yeah, it's moving. Let's go ahead and go ahead and get moving. Ooh. Okay, so speedometer looks like it works all right. It was it's pretty? It looks like it's pretty instant. As for this boost gauge, I definitely have a turbo vehicle, but it seemed to work in the torque app, but it's not in this one. So as for the live drive with this iPad app. Not impressive, but it's not bad. Definitely worth having a $20 adapter if you already have your, uh, you know, your device, which is probably the most of what, like most computer, if you have your device, yeah. Okay, so that was a look at the Wi-Fi adapter for your iDevice, and uh, yeah, do some OBD2 skidding. If you like this video, there's a button for that. If you want to see more videos like it, there's a button for that. And if you just want to go ahead and say some stuff, you've got a comments thing near YouTube lets you do. So yeah, go ahead and do that. And uh, anyway, I hope that helped. See you later, Internet.